Alexandra Drozd is the owner, uh, and she's been involved with the current operation um, for a little bit less than two years. Um, it is a large and successful uh, uh, club. Uh, the application that's before you is for a, a, a cabaret license um, under the, uh, the current corporate name. Uh, they have a liquor license and have been operating under their, uh, under their liquor license for some time. Um, two things that we wanted to mention to you tonight. Uh, one is that um, there's been uh, some notice taken the fact that there's some construction going on uh, with respect to the, uh, to the roof of, the, of a one-story part of the structure. Uh, what they're doing is, is putting up uh, basically a, uh, an enclosure uh, for the rooftop um, space. The cabaret license will not cover that. Uh, there will, would not be a cabaret license for the upstairs area, and we're um, anticipating that that will alleviate one of the uh, concerns that has been expressed to us about people standing in front of the public smoking because they should be able to go upstairs uh, uh, now. Um, we've also been told that there, we've been told anecdotally about um, some quality of life concerns which we're trying to address and we look forward to meeting with the Public Safety Committee to, to discuss those further, uh, but the club has stepped up uh, their security in the area uh, and also sweeping, having somebody go around completely around the block uh, to make sure that people aren't loitering to the extent that they can um, do anything about that, and also sweeping up completely around the block. We're also told that there was some issues with uh, cabs pulling up in front and hacking their horns. Not something that they can necessarily control, but they've asked, um, they've asked the security people to go out and tell the drivers not to do that, not to loiter. Um, again, not within their, uh, necessarily within their ability to, uh, to control. So in any event, that's, uh, that's basically the application for the, uh, for the cabaret license, and we look forward to meeting with the Public Safety Committee to know if there are any additional concerns. Any questions? Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. There were speakers for that. We, we talked about this earlier. There was a couple of people who live directly behind it who actually come to the club and uh, not expressed any concerns. We saw the same stuff on the email. It's not anybody that's talked directly to us. And if those people, and, and some of what we've heard has been sort of second-hand, third reports about the same controversy. So anybody that has specific concerns, we'd be happy to meet with them. Or if they don't want to talk to us directly, if they want to share that with the with the community board, uh, with the district manager, um, as long as they're specific, you know, and not they heard from somebody else or heard from somebody else. We have a number of speakers on the side in the house. Uh, Before you to strongly implore this community board to not grant this license to Studio B. As a Greenpoint resident for several years, I live one half block away from this club, and I can assure you that they have been nothing but a bad neighbor to our community since they have operated. There are frequent problems with public urination outside this club, there are frequent problems with trash, with broken bottles. And I take issue with the comments made because I can clearly see from my bedroom window that there is no security presence outside the club. And there is no effort made to, to control the smoking and the smoking and litter and uh, 
loitering outside the club, the public urination across the street, and there has been no effort to mitigate the trash. There's but one uh, public trash can, but the club has not even bothered to use, uh, produce anything to mitigate the trash. Uh, if they had their own trash cans, maybe that would help, but they've been made no such effort. And additionally, I must address to this community board that Studio B has shown a flagrant disregard for our the laws of our community. They expanded illegally their second floor of their club without a permit. They started the work even though they didn't have it. A stop work order was issued, they still continued to work. They do not have a certificate of occupancy for the second floor of this club, yet it operates on a nightly basis with people on the second floor, even though they have no certificate of occupancy, and it states on their CFO, in no uncertain terms, that the second floor is to be unoccupied. If they've shown such a flagrant disregard for our laws now, why should we trust them to operate as a good neighbor with a cabaret license? Please deny them this license. Please recommend that it not be granted. Thank you. Thank you. flush that out a little bit. First of all, um, uh, I just want to be sure that it, it was presented as though the residential neighborhoods were incidental in terms of proximity, but not incidental. All of the traffic coming to and from both on foot and in car goes up Callier Street, around Clifford, down Franklin, uh, coming down Messerol. Uh, all of those residential streets right around the corner are affected by this club. Um, I would have lauded the, the efforts presented <clears throat> uh, to control the uh, the club, but I would say that would be wonderful if you were just operating <clears throat> until one o'clock. Uh, and if it was a real good faith effort and everything else, I'd say, okay, maybe I can work with you. But until four o'clock, um, I've been I've seen too much. Uh, we'll work with you, but it doesn't work out that way. Um, I do, I also implore the, uh, the, the community board to deny this uh, request. The hours I have uh, are sufficient for uh, disruption as it is. Um, it's quality of life. Uh, if you grant this license, quality of life of the immediate surroundings will be severely degraded. I implore you to deny this license. Thanks.